Yeah, now that you got your first episode published and you got your feed all set up, it's now time to tell the world. You are already podcasting, but nobody knows about it yet. So we're going to submit the podcast to the directories. We're going to start with the big kahuna, Apple. And so what you do is you go to Power Press and Settings, and then go to Destinations. And you'll see right here, here's the RSS feed that you're going to give to pretty much everybody. And right here, we're going to go to Apple. And in here, here we'll get rid of that because that, that shouldn't be there yet. All right, so there we go. So that one is not there now. And if you go to underneath the player, you'll notice that there's no Apple link. So go back to uh, PowerPress settings and destinations and go to Apple. And you're going to click this blue link that says how to submit a podcast to Apple. So you click that. And it's going to give you this RSS feed again in case you need it. So go ahead and copy that. And it's going to give you all the requirements to be in an Apple podcast or be on the Apple podcast directory. And you've, you know, if you've followed me uh, setting up your PowerPress and you got your first episode and it's public and published and now out there, then you meet all these requirements. So then let's go down here, and you must have an Apple ID to uh, submit to Apple Podcasts. So you can create your Apple ID there. If you've already created it, uh, most people have. They've got some sort of Apple something. Uh, click here to sign in to iTunes Podcast Connect. And, yes, it's called iTunes Connect. And I was already logged in, but normally it would take you through a login. And it'll automatically put this feed in here in most cases. If it doesn't, you can go ahead and paste that feed in there and hit validate. And it's going to go through the validation. And it's going to say prepared for submission. Or it's going to be read and it's going to say uh, what's wrong, you know, what's missing, what it uh, needs before you can submit it. And you want to go through this preview and you want to look and see if the title is the way you want it. Uh, type is episodic. That is right for 99.9% .9 of the podcast. So that's good. Uh, category. This is the subcategory we selected. And uh, then the main category as well, if, if there is a main category. Uh, language. The uh, media is audio. The explicit tag is off. And you want uh, your description and your copyright and your website link. Make sure that is your website and not some other website. And if that all looks right, go down here. See that you got your first episode. If you got more than one episode, they'll all be listed here. How long they are and all that good stuff. As long as everything looks the way you want it, click submit. And after uh, a little while, Apple will send you an email saying that your podcast has been submitted to the Apple directory. And then you're going to, uh, between one and five days, and it can be between one and five days. So, and there's no uh, rhyme or reason uh, how long it takes. It's a manual process over there. Somebody actually looks at your show, make sure that it's technically the way it should be. They don't care about the uh, content, you know, whether your audio is good or not. <laughs> you know, if it uh, sounds lousy, they don't care about that. They just care about if everything is technically correct. And if it is, they're going to send you a thing saying that, congratulations, you are in the Apple directory. Here's your link. You take that link and you paste it in this box and you hit save changes. And you'll notice if we go back to the website that now there's an Apple Podcast link there. There's also an Apple Podcast link in the subscribe page. And there'll be an Apple Podcast link in the subscribe widget if you have that widget. And you can have that widget for free by going to Appearance Widgets. And we can show you that here. Why not? And uh, drag the subscribe to podcast to the widget area where you want the widget to be. And just drop it in there. It's already saved. And that's the subscribe widget. So you notice Apple's there. Apple's there. And Apple is there. And that's how you do it with all of them. So, you know, say you want to submit to 
uh, submit to Spotify. So you go down here to Spotify and you click this how to submit to Spotify. It brings you to this page. It's going to tell you all about it. If you're hosting on Blueberry, you click this blue button. And you log into your Blueberry account, and then there's a Get on Spotify link. You fill out the form, and usually in a day or so, you'll be on Spotify. You can go back to Blueberry and uh, get that link, which will be right in that to Get on Spotify section. I, I won't show that, but, uh, you know, and all the rest of these are the same. Not all of these, you know, like you don't, su you don't submit to Android or email, so don't worry about that. But these little check boxes here, so, you know, you, you can turn on, you know, in the subscribe sidebar, you can turn it on in the media player, you can turn it off under that, or you can turn them all off or all on, you know, whatever combination. And each one of these has these sets of check boxes. So if you don't see it under the player, you want to make sure that this is checked. If you want it under the player, if you don't want it under the player, you uncheck that and then, uh, or uncheck that and, uh, so you just want it in the subscribe sidebar and on the page, but not under the player. You can do that. And all of these are the same. Blueberry directory, same thing. Put your Blueberry directory listing in there. There's instructions on how to get on all these different platforms. But that's basically what the uh, Destinations tab does. We suggest you, you get in at least Apple, Google, and Spotify at bare minimum, and the Blueberry directory, of course, because that also powers the uh, image in your player. And all the rest of these are, you know, pretty much optional. Android and email are good. Uh, email's a service for podcast listeners, not a service for podcasters. So we do not give you the email. Uh, those are, you know, just think of it as an app for podcast listeners that is powered by email. Anyway, that about does it for the destinations.